Good day everyone and welcome to Grid 11 Career Guidance Program. So we are now in Module 7, beginning the journey where I am. This is the process towards the strategic implementation leading to the realization of the chosen profession or vocation and career goal. So ibig sabihin, ito ang proseso patungo sa estratehiyang ipatupad na dapat mapagtanto sa napiling korso o vocation at target na trabaho. Also will help to learn about interest, values, and skills in relation to the current situation as these are the factors that will lead to your life and profession in the future. So, ibig sabihin, makakatulong din ito para malaman ang tungkol sa mga bagay na interesado ka. Pag-uugali na dapat taglayin at kasanayan na may kaugnayan sa, sa sitwasyon mo ngayon. Bilang ito ay mga salik na manguna sa iyong buhay at profession sa hinaharap. Okay now, so let us now proceed to the main activity. So we have the SWOT, or Strength, Weakness, Opportunity, and Traits. Let us proceed to Activity 7.1, SWOT Analysis. So under this, we have the Strengths, Weakness, Opportunities, and Traits. And then uh, under the strengths, we have the hardworking, open-minded, thoughtful, and throwing. So, yan yung mga uh, kalakasan. So, how about weakness or yung kahinaan? So, you mean you are uh, very busy, indecisive, impatient, get bored quickly, and writing eases. So, yan yung uh, mahina sa yo. Okay. And then we have the opportunities. Decide on an idea I am happy to work with, plan ahead, creating exciting concepts for final, show off the skills I have learned throughout the course. So yan yung mga opportunity or oportunidad na uh, maaring uh, dumating or magawa. Okay. So and then the last is uh, traits. Lose enthusiasm in project. Take too long to make a start on project. Rush the and put time over quality. Not complete by end line and fill your course. So yun naman yung mga banta. And now, so let us proceed to the sample worksheet in academic. So na na yung uh, gagawin nyo once na uh, you are uh, academic uh, track so like this there is a uh, academic track and then strand ABM and then specialization so lagay nyo dyan kung ano yung uh, uh, specialization nyo na or elective subject na kinuha nyo. Then, strengths. So, ibig sabihin ano yung kalakasan nyo. So, for example, have good mathematics, uh, have good mathematical skills. So, yun yung kalakasan nyo. And then, yung weaknesses, not so good with English communication skills. And then, uh, opportunities, scholarship in college, job opportunities in the locality. And then, traits, Financial issues, proximity of school for college. And then another example from TVL. So, track TVL strand home economics with specialization for and beverage production. So, let's, let us now talk about the strengths so we have the artistic practical analytical thinker patient 
honest and people person so these are the strengths how about weaknesses easy discourage this information of the latest food and beverages production issues communication skills verbal and written so yun yung kanyang weaknesses so how about the opportunities local employment international employment and entrepreneurship so yun yung kanyang opportunities and then the last is traits local small business competitors upgrading of skills in food and beverages production stag stagnation of business so yan yung mga traits niya and now you're going to fill up your SWOT analysis so your uh, we have the truck strength with specialization strengths uh, weaknesses opportunities and traits so meron akong form na pinadala sa inyo kaya paki-pilapan na lang ito okay now what is career development so according to Seligman 1980 career development is a lifelong process which includes physical cognitive and emotional development so ibig sabihin ito yung uh, karera ng uh, pagpapaunlad so sabi dyan ito ay isang uh, mahabang proseso kung saan uh, napapaloob ang uh, physical or yung pangatawan cognitive ang ating uh, kamalayan and uh, emotional so ating mga uh, damdamin na uh, pagpapaunlad okay there are lots of factors which influence lifelong career development process so meron daw mga salik kung saan nakaka-influence sa ating uh, mahabang uh, karera ng pagpapaunlad So, una, ay uh, psychological factors or yung sa pag-iisip o kung paano tayo mag-iisip sa ating uh, sarili or sa ating kapwa. Yun. So, magiging salik yun. And number two is social factors. So, kung paano tayo makikipag-socialize or kay Helobilo sa ating uh, katrabaho, kaibigan, at sa uh, business partner each person has different difficulties and boundaries that may hinder to pursue career goal so ibig sabihin yan ang bawat tao ay merong iba't ibang uh, uh, mga bagay na nahihirapan siya at uh, hangganan na maaaring maghad lang sa kanya sa pagtupad ng kanyang uh, target na karera. SWOT is usually used in the industrial business industry, which is very effective in their business analysis that would lead a business success. So, sinasabi dyan na yung SWOT daw ay uh, malimit ng ginagamit sa mga uh, uh, industry or sa mga business kung saan napaka epektibo ito sa kanilang business dahil ito ay nagbibigay sa kanila ng uh, tagumpay tagumpay sa kanilang uh, business in this case SWOT is used to analyze career development pathing to help the learner to lead their successful career goal journey. Having career goals helps provide direction and focuses your attention on attainable outcomes of the educational process. So, ibig sabihin dyan na sa ganitong uh, karagayan, yung SWOT naman ay 
uh, ginagamit para i-analyze yung uh, karira sa pagpapaunlad. So, maaaring makatulong ito sa mga uh, learner o mag-aaral na uh, matulungan sila sa pagiging uh, uh, successful sa kanilang karira. So, sa target na uh, karira. So, yung pagkakaroon ng uh, target na karira, ito ay matutulungan dahil doon sa pagbibigay ng tamang direksyon uh, at focus na rin. Sa, lalo na sa kanilang uh, attention na makamta nila yung uh, tamang uh, proseso sa kanilang pag-aaral. Knowing where you are going with your academic program in terms of clear goals helps stimulate and maintain motivation. Motivation has been shown to be a critical component of academic success. Therefore, clarifying your career goals can result in immediate as well as long-term gain. So that is according to Grusha, 1992. So, ibig yung pag-alam kung saan ka papunta. Ibig sabihin, yung uh, uh, patutunguhan ng iyong uh, academic program. So, in terms of clear goals, so, ibig sabihin, so, sa pamagitan ng uh, klarong uh, target ay makakatulong ang pagpukaw uh, at pag uh, uh, panatili ng motivation. So, yung motivation na yan ay uh, magiging uh, critical component. So, ibig sabihin, uh, napaka-importanting uh, bahagi ng uh, academic success. So, yung pag uh, matagumpay mo doon sa iyong uh, academic. So, therefore, clarifying your career goals. So, ibig sabihin, mas na clarify mo yung uh, target mo na karera, ito ay makakapag uh, uh, resulta ng agarang or uh, natawag na long term gain. So, ibig sabihin, uh, nalalaman mo na agad yung future mo or magiging trabaho mo dun sa uh, future. Okay? The concept of self-efficacy is the focal point of Albert Bandura's social cognitive theory. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung konsepto ng self-efficacy. So, ibig sabihin, pag uh, uh, tiwala dun sa yung kakayahan. Okay? So, according to Bandura, 1997, the level and strength of self-efficacy will determine whether coping behavior will be initiated, how much effort will result, and how long the effort will be sustained in the face of obstacle. Okay, so ayon kay Bandura, yung label daw ng label at ang yung kakayahan pagdating doon sa yung uh, sarili ay ma malalaman kung ito ay uh, in, uh, initiated or uh, pagkukusa Di kaya kung nagbibigay ka ng uh, effort dun para magkaroon ng uh, resulta and then gaano naman katagal yung effort na uh, yung maibibigay dun sa pagharap ng mga pagsubok so yan yung uh, konsepto ni uh, Albert Banduras So now, what is self-efficacy means? Self-efficacy means the belief in one's capabilities to organize and execute the courses of action required to produce given attainments. So, ibig sabihin ng self-efficacy, ito yung uh, paniniwala mo sa yung uh, 
kakayahan na mag-organize, na mag-execute doon sa mga uh, dapat na gawin or action na hinihingi na dapat mong uh, ibigay doon sa mga uh, attainments or dapat na ma makamit or uh, dapat na magawa na produkto. Okay, so we have four most influential sources where self-efficacy is derived. First, personal performance. So, ito yung uh, sa sarili mo mismo kung ano yung kaya mong gawin. Accomplishments, previous successes, or failures. Most influential. So, ito yung uh, mga nagawa mo dati. At uh, yung mga hindi mo pa nagawa so yun yung mga uh, the most na nakaka influence sa iyo and then we have the vicarious experience so meaning watching others modeling mentoring so ito naman yung uh, tinitingnan mo yung ibang tao kung ano yung kaya nilang gawin at sinusubukan mo rin na uh, gawin uh, modeling So, kung nagawa nila, uh, sinasabi mo sa sarili mo na, kaya mo rin gawin. Mentoring. So, ito naman yung uh, pagbibigay ng uh, payo. Or nakapag-share ka ba ng payo base doon sa iyong nalalaman. And then, third is verbal persuasion. Okay, so... This is a verbal encouragement or discouragement. So, ito na yung uh, panghikayat or uh, uh, discourage mo siya na hindi gawin. Okay? Then, the last is physiological and emotional factors. Perception of stress reactions in the body. So, ito na yung pagkakaroon ng uh, or pag-analyze doon sa uh, pagod na naramdaman ng iyong katawan kung ano yung nagiging reaction mo doon or yung reaction ng iyong katawan. It is important to understand the distinction between self-esteem and self-efficacy in career planning according to Bandura 1992. So, what is the difference? So, uh, ano yung pagkakaiba ng self-esteem at yung uh, self-efficacy? So, there is some meaning here. So, self-esteem relates to a person's sense of self-worth. So, ibig sabihin, yung isang tao, pag sinabi ng mayroong uh, self-esteem, ito yung uh, nagbabase doon sa kanyang sins or senses. So, pakiramdam niya na uh, sinasabi niya sa sarili niya na kaya niya or uh, magaling siya. Okay? So, how about the self-efficacy? So, self-efficacy relates to a person's perception of their ability to reach a goal. So, ito naman ay iniisip niya na uh, kaya niyang uh, gawin yung isang bagay or kaya niyang uh, uh, or meron siyang uh, kakayahan. Iniisip niya na meron siyang kakayahan na maabot yung kanyang uh, target. Okay, so, yan yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa. Self-efficacy affects human function and relation to career planning. So, ibig sabihin, yung self-efficacy daw ay uh, nakaapikto dun sa uh, function ng isang uh, tao. Pagdating dun sa kanyang uh, 
plano sa kanyang uh, karera. Okay? So, una dyan yung choices regarding behavior. So, yung pagpili ng kurso, base doon sa kanyang uh, pag-uugali. And then, uh, motivation. Ano ba yung nagmamotivate sa kanya para matupad niya yung kanyang pangarap. And then, thought patterns and responses. So, ano yung nakalagay sa isip niya at saka yung kanyang response. And then, the last is destiny idea. So, ano ba yung perception niya pagdating sa destiny? Okay? So, meron kasi minsan na iniisip nila na uh, kahit na walang uh, pinag-aralan, naging successful din uh, pagdating ng araw. Okay? So, meron din na uh, iniisip na nila na syempre pag mayroon kang pinag-aralan, more chances na magiging successful ka pagdating ng araw. So, that is the self-efficacy affix. Okay, so let us now proceed to the processing question. So, question number one, what are the important insights you learn about yourself in relation to the present enrolled senior high school specialization? And number two, how will you apply these insights, values, as you progress your career journey towards achieving your career goal? So, that's our the processing question. As we journey towards our career, we see the road is long and is rough. There are times it seems hard to find strength enough. But through it all, the ups and downs, we learn to smile despite the frowns. We learn to share our joy and pain. To share without expecting gain. We learn to give a helping hand and how to lean when we can't stand. We learn the difference between right and wrong and to stand for right and always stand strong. Through this road is hard and seems so long. It's how we find where we belong because it's only through life's bends and turns that we can truly grow and truly learn. Okay, so let us now proceed to your activity 7.2, my ladder to success. Okay, so at present, you are going to fill up the first ladder. So, I am in uh, ACAD or TVL, then strand, kung ano strand mo, then specialization or yung elective, then skills I learn. So, ano yung mga uh, kakayahan mo or yung mga talento mo. Okay, and then skills I still uh, need to learn. So, ano yung dapat mo pang malalaman. And then, uh, grade 12. Ito yung sa grade 12 na kayo. Okay. My goal is to earn in situ in the field of ano yung in situ na gusto nyo. And then, need. Ano yung kailangan nyo? Value. So, ano yung uh, pagpapahalaga. Okay. And then, uh, entrepreneurship or negosyo. So, yun ba, mayroon ba kayong negosyo? Need. ano kailangan? Valued. So, ano yung kalaga nito? Then, for so college. Then, check. And then, after 4 years. So, I will be a degree holder on. So, ano yung course na pinili nyo? And then, school year. Then, ano yung kailangan? Valued. So, yung pagpahalaga. Then, I am employed as, so, sa ano na kayo, teacher, engineer, then need. 
yung mga pangilan for youth. Then, uh, I own a business. Kanyang business. Need. Ang kailangan. Uh, valued. So, ano yung value niya? Then, up, uh, a year after. I am a full pledge of all oh, yun. So, kung teacher kayo, kayo na, kayo na ay uh, teacher 3. Yun. I employed as deep ed. Need. Ano kailangan? Valued. Then, uh, I own I own a business, current business, need valued, then state other options. So, ano pa yung gagawin nyo? So, yan yung ladder to success. So, from grade, uh, uh, present, grade 11, to grade 12, after 4 years, a year after. So, yun yung maging trabaho na. So, yan yung dapat nyong fill upan. Okay, so according to cards on trust, it's not what you achieve, it's what you overcome. That defines your career. So, hindi yung kung ano yung abot mo, kundi kung ano yung mga nalampasan mo. At so, yan yung uh, sabi ng career. Okay, so we have the journey, journey song. So, uh, sisend ko na lang din to sa inyong GC para mapaking, uh, mapanood nyo to, uh, to know what is journey song points to emphasize it's all about the crossroads that the learner traveler encounters in life as he she journey his her career the song puts a value to patience courage perseverance and safeguarding principles the awareness of the realities of life and profession and the continuous struggle to survive with what a for career path the learner will take. Synthesis Life is what we make it, and we can make it beautiful through human virtues. Our outlook becomes more focused and colorful because we do things with more attention to details. There are big and small tasks that we perform in our everyday lives. Many times we fail, but we shall not be discouraged because it's, it is all a question of standing up and it's time renewing our resolve to be strong, to be responsible, to make decisions that is appropriate for us, to face the consequences of all decisions we made. Career is a lifetime decision making. We need each other when we plan to make our lives be a better and even best place to live in. Be happy. Okay, so let us now proceed to your evaluation. So this is your third activity. Direction. Complete the following statement through the given writing prompt. So, number one, I want to become, kung yung maging gusto mo. Number two, I need to learn my skills in, kaya ano pa yung gusto mong mag, uh, matutunan na talento. Number three, I want to work at, saan mo gusto mong trabaho. For example, in, uh, in uh, Department of Education. Number four, I have the qualities for so, state your characteristics or attitude for being a, a hardworking, okay? Number five, I value, so, uh, I value time at work because time is good, okay? And then number six, I like working at uh, 
quiet place or conve uh, convenient place okay something like that and number seven i like working with people who are uh, happy i don't like uh, okay number eight i don't like to work at uh, people uh, easily hungry because blah 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 then number nine i don't like to work with people who always late always uh, absent okay number 10 i am so state your name here okay so that's all for evaluation okay so we have another uh, synthesis Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle. So that is according to Christian D. Larson. So beautiful uh, quotes. So maniwala sa yung sarili. Dahil ang lahat yan ay nasa sayo. So, alam mo na merong uh, merong kakayahan sa iyo. So, kung ano mang mga uh, malaking pagsubok ay kaya mong lampasan. Okay, thank you for watching this uh, video. At maraming salamat nga pala dun sa mga bumati nung kaarawan ko. Okay, so keep safe and God bless.